Assalamu alaikum and good morning dear students. Today we will continue to learn unit 7 fractions. Students this will be the part 2 video for our unit 7 fractions. Our learning objectives will be to find fraction of a number, to compare like fractions and finally we will learn how to arrange fractions in ascending and descending order. Let us see how to find fraction of a number. Dear students, in this slide you can see there are 20 cherries and we have to find out what will be 3 fourth of 20 cherries. Our fraction over here is 3 by 4. So now depending upon the denominator, we will first be dividing these 20 cherries into 4 equal groups. Let us see how we can do that. Group 1, group 2, group 3 and group 4. Now if you observe each group has 5 equal cherries. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then depending upon the numerator we will be selecting 3 groups from all these 4 groups. Because our numerator is 3. So first, second and 3. 3 equal groups we have taken. So our answer will be the total number of cherries present in these three groups. So if we go on counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 in each, 10 over here and another 5 gives us 15 cherries. So this is how we find out what is 3 by 4 of 20. It is 15 cherries. Every time it is not convenient to have a group of pictures and then put them into equal groups and find fraction of a number. So here we have a very simple two step procedure for finding fraction of a number. Let us see what it is. We can make use of the same question finding 3 by 4 of 20. Step 1 is to divide the number by the denominator. Our number here is 20 and denominator is 4. So in step 1 we have to divide 20 by 4. Once we divide 20 by 4 we know 4 5s are is 20. So we get the answer as 5. In step 2 we should multiply the quotient with the numerator. The quotient that we obtain in step 1 has to be multiplied with the numerator in step 2. So the answer would be 5 multiplied by 3 giving us 15. So since even in the previous slide, we have got the answer as 15 cherries. Here with a very simple two-step procedure, we get the answer that 3 by 4 of 20 is equal to 15. So it is very simple to keep in mind. First step is divide the number by denominator. And second step is multiply the quotient obtained in step 1 with the numerator. Now, you have exercise 7c about finding fractions of a number. Let us try some questions. The first question is what is 2 by 3 of 27? So our step 1 should be dividing the number by the denominator which is 27 divided by 3 giving us the answer the quotient as 9. Step 2 is then multiplying the quotient that you get in step 1 with the numerator. So it should be 9 twos are 18 and you get the answer. 2 by 3 of 27 is 18. Let's see the next question. We have here bit number C. What is 5 by 6 of 48? So dear what is the step 1? It is to divide 48 by 6. Dividing number by denominator. What is the quotient that we get here? Since in 6 table 6 8s are 48. That's why the quotient is 8. And in step 2 8 should be multiplied with the numerator. 8 5s are 40. So first we make use of denominator and then we make use of numerator. The final answer we get is 40. So 5 by 6 of 48 is 40. There is one more you see. Bit number G 3 by 4 of 132. So we need not worry again it is just same step 1 will be 132 divided by 4. So if you do some rough work and you do the calculation you get the answer as 33. And in step 2 33 should be multiplied with 3 is 99. So however uh, big the number is it is quite simple because it's a same procedure applicable to all and the answer of 3 by 4 of 132 is 99. 
This is the third question of exercise 7c. Let's see the first bit. We have to here find out what is 7 by 12 of an hour. So here we do not have the number given. We have to find fraction of something. Let us see what it is. It is about 1 hour in minutes. So first of all we need to find out 1 hour is equals to how many minutes. 1 hour is 60 minutes as we all know. So basically the question is to find out what is 7 by 12 of 60. Right. So it is the same procedure as we have done in question number 2. We will be first finding in step 1 dividing 60 by 12 the quotient. So 60 divided by 12 will be 5 because 12 fives are 60. And in step 2 5 should be multiplied with 7 giving us the answer 35. So basically 7 by 12 of an hour is 35 minutes. We have found it is quite simple. Similarly, bit number C and F can be done. Let's see what is bit number C. 5 by 6 of a dozen. Dear students, again we need to find out the number. So you should be aware by now that a dozen is equals to 12 items. So here 1 dozen is equals to 12. And basically the question is to find out 5 by 6 of 12. So 12 should be divided by the denominator 6 giving us the quotient 2. And in step 2, 2 should be multiplied with 5 giving us the answer 10. So 5 by 6 of dozen would be 10. And bit number F is 2 by 7 of a week. And they are asking about a week in days. So one week has how many days? It has 7 days. Hence we can say we have to here find out 2 by 7 of 7 which is quite simple. Because in step 1 we will be dividing 7 by 7. The number by denominator giving us the quotient 1. And in step 2 we will be multiplying the quotient with the numerator. So answer is 2. 2 by 7 of a week would be 2 days. Here we have some word problems. Let us see the first one. A packet of 75 sheets of paper. Simran uses 2 by 5 of sheets. How many sheets has she used? So a packet is having 75 sheets. If she is using 2 by 5 of the sheets, total how many she has used? Basically the solution is to find out 2 by 5 of 75. We will apply the same procedure as we have learned the two step procedure of finding fraction of a number. So here we will be dividing the number with the denominator. So step 1 is 75 divided by 5 giving us the answer 15. We can perform some rough work to do the division properly and correctly. And then later on we will be multiplying 15 with 2 giving us the answer 30. So we can say that 2 by 5 of 75 is 30 and hence she has used 30 sheets of paper. One more word problem. In a group of 116 tourists who went to see the Khutub Minar, 1 by 4 were foreigners. How many were foreign tourists? So a group has 116 tourists out of which 1 by 4 were foreigners. Who are foreigners? Tourists who are not Indians, who are from different countries other than India. They are called foreigners, anybody who lives outside the country. Right. Then here we will have to actually find out what is 1 by 4 of 116. It is quite easy students. We will be here dividing 116 by the denominator 4. So once we do that, the answer is 29. Now here, do I need to perform step 2? Do I need to write down 29 multiplied with 1 is 29 again? No. So whenever we have a unit fraction with numerator 1, we will only have to perform one step procedure which is just dividing the number by the denominator. Anyway, you learned earlier in exercise 7a that to find 1 by 4 of a number, you should simply divide it by 4. So we get the final answer in a single step that 1 by 4 of 116 is 29 and they were 29 foreign tourists. Here we come to the next topic of our lesson which is comparing like fractions. Dear students, before I proceed to the next slide, you should recall that like fractions are fractions having same denominator. Let us see what these fractions are. The circle divided into four parts and the first one has three parts colored. So I can write the fraction for it as 3 by 4. 
and the second has two parts colored so i can write the fraction as 2 by 4 which will be bigger now so which fraction is bigger how to know just compare the two pictures and see which picture has more parts of the circle colored obviously it is very evident that the circle on the left side has more number of parts being colored here there are three colored parts but here there are only two colored parts so definitely this fraction is bigger so we can put this greater sign the sign should be opened the mouth should be opened towards the greater number now what did we conclude over there it is very simple students for comparing like fractions we just need to compare the numerators why because the denominators for like fractions are already same so we will basically have to only compare the numerators a very simple topic so if the denominator is same then the fraction with the biggest numerator is biggest simple logic so here we have numerator 3 bigger than 2 so our fraction on the left side was greater hence we can directly put the greater sign towards 3 by 4 Here we have some more questions from exercise 70 which is to compare like fractions. The first question is color to compare. Put the correct sign. So basically dear students here we have two figures on left and right side. The first is a rectangular bar with seven equal parts and even the second figure is a rectangular bar with seven equal parts. First one we will have to color to represent fraction one by seven. So basically we will have to color one part out of seven parts. And in the second one we will be having to color three parts up to seven parts and it is done now let us decide which one is greater definitely this is greater because it has more number of colored parts and we can put the greater sign towards this fraction now moving ahead towards bit number b here we have four by eight and seven by eight to be colored there are eight circles in each group here we have to color four circles and there we have to color seven circles so let us do the coloring and here we'll be coloring seven circles okay so when we compare the figure the group of circles on the right side has more number of circles colored that's why we will say that seven by eight is greater and again we'll be putting this sign so i have put a sign in which the mouth of the sign is open towards the greater number Next question number two, compare the fractions and fill in the blanks. So first one, there is no need to color or draw any picture. We can directly compare the fractions by looking at them. The rule says that if the denominators are same, in case of like fractions, they are, we'll be only comparing the numerators. So when we compare the numerators among three and six, who is greater? Definitely six is greater. So we def then conclude that six by seven is a greater fraction. Let us put the symbol. Then in bit number B, when comparing numerators 7 and 4, 7 is greater. Hence, we say that the fraction 7 by 9 is greater than 4 by 9. Quite simple, right students? Then in bit number C, 2 by 4 and 3 by 4, we can compare the numerators 2 and 3. 3 is greater than 2. Hence, we say that 3 by 4 is greater. That's why I'll put the sign in such a way that 3 by 4 being the greater fraction has the mouth of the sign open towards it now 8 by 15 and 2 by 15 this time 8 here is greater than 2 so the fraction on the left side is greater we will put the sign in such a way that the mouth of the sign is open towards the greater fraction and hence we complete by fill in the blanks the next topic is arranging the fractions in ascending order so if we have to arrange numbers or other items in ascending order, it means that we need to arrange them from smallest to largest. So there should be a clarity, dear students. The moment you see ascending order, what should come to your mind is ordering the fractions from smallest to largest. Okay, you can see this picture over here from the small animal to the big animal would be called as arranging those animals in ascending order. Let us arrange these fractions in ascending order. That means let us arrange them from smaller to bigger. 
let us find out by comparing the numerators because the denominators are all same six so we see numerators 5 2 4 1 1 being the smallest numerator 1 by 6 will be in the first position then 2 being the next bigger one it will be in the second position 2 by 6 then the next bigger one will be 4 by 6 and finally we have 5 by 6 so this will be the ascending order 1 by 6 2 by 6 4 by 6 and 5 by 6 we have put them in the ascending order by arranging the fractions from smaller to bigger based on the numerators and why we learn descending order we need to remember that arranging numbers or other items like fractions in descending order it means to arrange them from largest to smallest okay that means from the biggest animal in this picture to the smallest animal the other way around descending order would be arranging from biggest to smallest so let us arrange these fractions in descending order by looking at the numerators since the denominators are all same 12 we we have to compare the numerator and find out the biggest numerator among them all so 10 is being the biggest will have first position the next bigger is 9 okay then comes 5 then comes 3 so the descending order will be 10 by 12 9 by 12 5 by 12 and the smallest at the end 3 by 12 we have exercise 70 here being continued arrange the following in ascending order we have bit number a and bit number d let us observe bit number a they are all like fractions with denominator same and it is ascending order so we should keep in mind that we have to arrange from small to big so based on the numerators the first will be 2 then it will be 3 then it will be 4 and lastly it will be 5 so 2 by 9 3 by 9 4 by 9 5 by 9 is the ascending order in bit number d all the uh, fractions are again like fractions denominators are same 7 so let us compare the numerators and decide the ascending order and it is done question number 4 is to arrange the following in descending order here dear students we can observe that again we have a group of like fractions in bit number b we have to arrange these fractions in descending order so we will be arranging them from bigger to smaller so the descending order will have 4 by 4 first then 3 by 4, 2 by 4 and 1 by 4. And bit number C, it will be 9 by 12 first, then 8 by 12, 7 by 12 and 3 by 12. From bigger to smaller. With this, we have finished all of the topics in our video lesson today. Thank you dear students. I hope you have followed the video lesson quite well. You can always watch the video again in order to follow concepts in a better way. Thank you.